Hey guys, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. In this video, I want to talk about something completely new. We're going to be talking about lists. I can't really say that very well. Lists. <laughs> Anyways, and a list takes a bunch of related data and stores it in a set. So above, above this cursor here, we have an example of a string. And in this string, we have a chore list. We have to clean, clean the room, go shopping, do my homework, recycle, eat some food, eat some fod, whatever that means, and clean my moom, whatever that means. I was going to tr try and type room, but it came out as moom, so you know, it's cool. So this is awesome and all, except it's all stored as one giant value. But if we use a list, it's going to take each one of these chores and store it as its own separate value and hold them connected in a set as chores. So how do we create one of these? Well, we can just assign it to a variable. So we can say chores and use the assignment operator and to start we just make brackets. Within these brackets we put each one of our separate values within quotes and separate them by commas. So first one, clean the room, go shopping, do, whoops, see I forgot a single quote, do my homework, recycle, eat some food, eat some fod, clean my moon. Now we have an established list. Now what we can do is we can print this list. So print chores and it will list them all. By the way, I have finally decided I am no longer going to use uh, uh, semicolons simply because they're not necessary. I just use them out of habit because I've programmed in other programming languages. So sorry for that. But yeah, you don't need a semicolon to end a statement. Unless you're putting two statements on one line, such as print hey, print sup. Well, that'll work, but if we take the semicolon out, well, yeah, so let me take this out real quick, and it doesn't work. So yeah, that's just some more information. So where were we? We just got done printing chores. Well, now this is a list, and each one is a separate value. And you're probably wondering, well, what's so special about this? Well, this data can be manipulated. We can select specifically different parts of this list. Rather when we had a uh, string we had to select the whole thing as a whole. So everything in this list has what's known as an index which basically just says its position of where it starts. And when we're talking about lists it starts with zero and goes up. So this one actually has the index of zero. Uh, this one has the index of one. This one has the index of, if I can grab it, gosh, two, three, four, so forth. So if we select a specific index, we have to think of one less than human terms, because like humans would think this is the first item in the list, and it is, but it has an index of zero. So yeah, it's kind of confusing, but oh well, let's just try it. We can go print, and then we can say chores, and then within brackets, we can say which index we want to choose. So this will be the second index. So we already learned that this has an index of zero, this has an index of one, this index has this has an index two. So let's try it. And it comes back, do my homework. There are a lot of other things that we can do with lists, and we'll be talking about those in future videos in uh, probably the next video. But I just wanted to introduce you to the topic so you understood why they're different than a uh, string. They're different because a string stores it all as one giant value, whereas a list stores related data individually 
and then combines them in a set. I also wanted you to understand how to create one, which all we do is we do the same thing as making a string, except we put these brackets, and each individual value is given within uh, quotes. Now as for printing it, we can print the actual whole list, or we can print a specific index, and you have to remember that it's one lower than what a human would expect. So we start at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth. So yeah, that is uh, known as the index position, or basically just indexing of where it is in the list. So that's all I'm going to be talking about in this video, and I will talk about more in the next one. So I will see you then.